Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is the Subscriber Sunday video, or subscribers send in photos that I include at the end of the video. I only had a couple people this week send them in, but this is always a busy week around Labor Day weekend. If you're interested in sending in photos for the Subscriber Sunday videos, send them to this email address right here. Before the subscriber photos, I have photos that I took at the North Carolina Arboretum in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Last week, I actually took a lot of photos there, so I probably have enough for this week and next week. Uh, before that, I have a giveaway for the channel reaching 5,000 subscribers. I don't know if when this video goes up if it will have reached 5,000 subscribers yet, but it's very, very close to doing that, so I do have a giveaway for that. And before that, I've been putting up a lot of pruning videos, and I have a lot of different types of pruners. And so I kind of wanted to go through those and show them all to you and what they're used for. I want to go through all the items I use on heavy limbs to start with. Obviously, a chainsaw is a great tool for pruning larger material. This one's been greatly abused over the years. This is actually my Christmas tree chainsaw, so it's been cutting fresh Christmas trees for a lot of years. And it, it's a lot of abuse to a chainsaw, um, all that sap from it, but it works fantastic for that. Uh, this is a Pullen. I've had it for, gosh, this is probably maybe a eight to 10 year old saw and it has worked great for me. Uh, the next thing, I've shown, this, I've shown this pole saw a couple times in videos. I need to replace this blade. The nice thing about the pole saw is it's also got a set of pruners underneath that work with this rope so that you can grab a limb high up and actually just cut it off like that or saw um, with the blade like that. I've got the folding uh, pruning saw here. Uh, this thing is absolutely fantastic. I just bought this one. This, one, this one's new. The one I had before this, I had just absolutely worn it out. These are great. They work on the pull instead of the push. And so just having the thing come right back to you with almost no effort, it cuts the branch for you. These are great if a branch is like maybe three inches or less. These work absolutely fantastic. I've got a bow saw, and this is all I used to use. Um, there are much better options now. I have a hard time, when a bow saw is new and it has a new blade, they cut very, very well, but I have a very hard time being accurate with it. The blade is flexible and it tends to drift in a large piece of wood. If it's like a two inch branch, boom, this thing will go right through it. If it's like a four or five inch branch, number one, it's a lot of effort. <laughs> number two, it tends to drift in the wood so you just don't get a perfectly straight cut with it. So I just don't use them as much as I used to. Then the new thing I've been using is this electric pole saw, which is basically just a chainsaw blade on a long shaft. This one has about a 10 foot reach right here. Uh, this one, I said it in another video, this is a Cobalt, which is Lowe's brand, but um, there's lots of people making these things. They work fantastic. They do leave your branches a little ratty. Uh, so, and I used it on these shrubs up here and I can just see the ends of the branches are really, really ratty. If I was gonna prune like a large rhododendron or something like that, and I didn't want the branches to be ratty on the end, the pole saw with the pruner on it is a better option just to cut them off very clean and smooth and don't leave a really nasty wound like that thing will do. The next thing down from there is an old fashioned pair of bypass loppers. Uh, the longer the handle on them, the more force you can really apply to them. This one right here will cut about a two inch limb. This is a pair of Coronas. This is a 36 inch handle on this one and they'll make quick work of any small limbs, let's say two inches or smaller. So that's all the items I would use for cutting larger limbs. From there, we have the gas pruning shears that will prune small branches on small shrubs uh, down low. This thing is really, really hard to hold above your head. So there's a, you know, somewhere around the four foot, five foot range for most people is gonna be comfortable. Anything above that, and this thing really becomes a struggle uh, after 30 minutes or so. So keep that in mind. The, uh, we have the old fashioned pruning shears, just like everybody's always seen and, and used. Still work fantastic if you're doing a small job, make quick work of things without having to put gas in it and mix gas and that kind of thing. And then down below that, I've shown these little pruning shears uh, multiple times. These are the floral shears that I use for propagating. Work great for cutting flowers, that kind of thing. There's just no hand fatigue with these. I really like these. 
they will bend if you try to cut larger limbs with them though so uh, they're really just for very small cleanup jobs deadheading perennials this is fantastic tool for that uh, just you don't end up with any hand fatigue the last thing i'll show you is this set of bypass hand pruners these are what most landscapers carry around all the time they're perfect for cutting branches that are three quarters of an inch or smaller very very quickly and easily the reason this one's still in the package is because i'm giving it away for the channel reaching 5,000 subscribers like i said all you need to do for a chance to win these pruners is make a comment in the description of this video does not matter what the comment is i'll use the random comment picker on next week's subscriber sunday video to pick a winner for these pruners i want to thank everyone who has subscribed the channel's grown very quickly over the last year i appreciate everybody watching and commenting on the videos and participating in these subscriber sunday videos so thanks a lot for that i have links in the description of this video for all of the different types of pruners that you can use at your home and here are the pictures from the north carolina arboretum and the subscriber photos thanks for watching